link that video up on either side. I was very impressed with the way the iPhone did it. I think I'm going to vlog with that for a while. So I just wanted to go over real quick the setup that I'm using for that. Um, I watched a bunch of different YouTube videos. I did a lot of research online on uh, Amazon and stuff like that. And I found what I think is a perfect setup. It needs a couple little tweaks and I'll show you all that coming up. Now I am using a lens that you could add to this. That's the Ikea lens which I'll show you here in just a second. So I'm hoping it all comes out well. I've noticed sometimes there's a little blurring around the edges, but I think I've got it figured out. The trick is just to put it on before you start filming. So we'll see how that's doing. All right, we're back in the studio. So if it looked like I was sweating in the last scene, that's because it's the end of October, but it's still 89 degrees out here, so it is warm. So everything you're about to see will be shot on an iPhone. I'm going to use my wife's iPhone 8 to shoot film of this iPhone. So everything you see will be shot on the iPhone. All right, so the quality of audio is going to be a lot worse because now I'm just filming on my wife's iPhone without the microphone. So this is my setup. You got the Joby Pod, got the mic, got the clamp. This is the uh, Tri-Lock clamp. I'll put that down in the description below. You have a little screw piece right here. I don't know if you can see that you have to have to make this touch to this. I'll put that link down below also. This is just a Rhodes Video Micro, micro that was on my... Uh, camera and I just got it screwed on there it looks just like that and like that and it works perfectly the only thing is the tri has got a screw here it's got a screw point here and it's got one down here that's at an angle so in order for it to work you have to have something where you can move it around because it is at a pretty steep angle down here and if you put this mic on the side on the bottom It'll be pointed down. You can't put it out here if you get an extension screw to bring it out, but that kind of looks funny to me and it doesn't really work. So if you need to switch it, just pop this off, turn it around, pop it back on, and it works as such. So it works very well. So this is the Aki lens that I was telling you about. It is a wide angle lens and you unscrew it. You got macro lens for close up which I don't think I'm really going to use for this vlog. Shot, last shot you saw at the park, that was me with the lens on. Not on right now, obviously. I don't feel like it's needed on every shot. Um, some shots I like to get the wide angle, really bring you into where I'm at, you know, show you the whole area. But this is it. It's pretty good. It was $30 on Amazon. I'm going to put all this down at the bottom so you can click over to it really easy. Um, it's a decent lens. I did figure out you need to put it on before you start filming though. So put it on, line it up with the uh, bottom camera because there are two cameras, but the video only films out of one. So you put it on there, line it up, and then you can start filming and it shouldn't have the blur or the issues that I was having when I started filming and then put it on. All right, so for the sake of quality, I'm using the front facing camera right now just so you can get a see kind of the difference um, from the back to the front. Um, this, I think I used it out on the we're right about a lake too so one thing i wanted to point out to use the mic the video micro to the phone or to use any of the camera based mics to attach to your phone other than the micro which was made for the iphone you have to have a special adapter cable so this is the one that it came with which has as you can see the two black ends and if you look real close you can see it has two and two of the little blacks the one you need which is on there right now has gray and it's a gray end and has three little bars so apparently the ones with the three are the ones you need and that's the sc7 and that goes from the mic to the phone and allows you to use that that way and again like everything i'll have that link down below and you can uh, check that out as well i just wanted to say real quick final notes on this the mount for the iphone is pretty decent you do have to kind of clamp it down and then push the thing in to hold it to get it to hold tight that's hasn't it doesn't move any when you walk with it or anything so it does hold it tight but i would have liked it to kind of cinch itself down but uh it works the mic uh if you need to it once you get it screwed in there real tight you're gonna have to uh, pop the mic out and put it on the other way if you want it to face the other direction and of course the joby is the joby so you can move it any way you need to so it's real good for that and just don't forget to get that little screw you're gonna have to cinch it down or else the mic's gonna stop at a kind of an angle so i got some pliers tightened it and then you're good to go on that if you like what you saw don't forget to subscribe like follow us most of the vlogs you're going to see coming up are going to be with the iphone i'm going to try that for a while before i go back over to the canon just to see how i like it how the usability is plus you always have your phone in your pocket so it's real easy to grab it and go again i 
said it in the other video, I don't like the mic on the iPhone. It's not very good. And carrying this big mic is kind of a pain, but for now it works. I don't know. See if I can find like a little boom mic, but they really kind of messed us up. IPhone, or Apple did with the uh, having to have that extension piece to hook a mic in. So that kind of sucks, but we'll see what we can do there. Anyways, we'll see you guys soon.